the most interesting thing for me recently has been hair teas. Do proper research on anything that you're using, whether it's on your hair or your skin. You should do proper research on application, uses, storage, and what have you. I just want more for my hair at this point. I want more. I want to be more intentional in just about everything I'm doing. We're trying to grow a garden in vases or just um, recycle our water bottles. Hi guys, so I've fallen in love with healthy living all over again. Not that I ever fell in love before, it's just that I stopped being intentional about everything that I would term healthy living. I started seeing all these DIY videos pop up on my timeline on YouTube just kind of reminded me of how I used to be. I used to DIY a lot of things, especially hair care and skin care. I love being able to make things for myself. I think that's one of the things I find satisfaction in, the things that turn to my hobby, just like making clothes for myself, and doing my hair, just, you know, just doing things for myself. It just gives me that sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. So I started binging on a lot of YouTube videos and the most interesting thing for me recently has been hair teas. Normally I take teas, I take just herbal teas for myself, but I um, want to start incorporating hair teas in my hair care routine, mostly because after postpartum shedding has um, subsided, I still have a lot of shedding too. I'm just trying to see what this hair tease can do to minimize the shedding for me. So um, stay with me while I refresh my twists. These are going to three weeks old. And I'll just show you what I've been doing. I'm going to stay on this side of the video so that I, if there are any texts or anything I want to write, they'll just be on this side. So this is three weeks old, two and a half to three weeks old. And I made this tea, so I've I've bringing out some products that won't be in an original container because I've been recycling a lot of things. So this is just a spray bottle. It comes is a product that has a spray bottle, so I put my tea in here. I've been using this to refresh my scalp. This is the second time I'll be applying it. What's in here is um, crushed clove and dried thyme. I made it into a tea. Unfortunately, I didn't make a video because um, this, this is my first time making a hair tea and I don't have a review yet. So I'm going to come here and review if the results are what they're supposed to be after I take down my hair, if I have less shedding than what I normally have been experiencing. So I just put it into this spray bottle and how I made it just like normal tea, how I would make a normal tea. So I spray it on my scalp, massage in a bit, and then spray the entire length of my braid, especially where my I know my hair is. In fact, this is the length of my hair, actually. The whole braid is the length of my hair, except for the tips. So I'm going to spray on everything. How I prepared it is that I, I just prepared it like normal tea. First of all, this is what it looks like. I also store it in this medicine container because we recycle everything. So it's airtight, that's why I chose this container. This is what it looks like. I will show you another video if this is not coming. So I, I just rough blended um, cloves and rosemary, dried rosemary. Boiled purified hot water. Boiled it and put this a few scoops. I made very little because of storage. I know that DIYs have gotten a lot of PR lately, mostly because if people just go about formulating things in their kitchen and their home without proper research into storage, measurement, and just knowing when they're going overboard and like how to use it. People just hear that something is working and they start prepping it on their own without knowing the right amount to use. 
storage most especially so for this tea i made very little I actually made small i thought it would finish in the first application but it's still remains. i made it three days ago so um i added vitamin e oil this from this brand i don't actually trust this brand but this was the only vitamin e oil i could find in the market so i used this and there's there's this page on instagram that i follow on formulating i think it's formula botanica i will add a link to their ig page just in case you're interested in learning about formulation in a healthy and more responsible way so i this page i followed they've been talking about vitamin e which is they made me know that vitamin e is tocopherol it helps with um just being a kind of natural preservative for your formulations although i don't know how it works because this is oil and this is water and you know that oil and water don't mix i just added it in case if it's supposed to do anything and to do anything and then as an added preventive measure for spoiling so this is doesn't go mold i installed it in the fridge as well so um hopefully it's really small now so maybe then um, before it will go rancid or spoil i'll finish it or it will finish now so i'll be interested in hair teas i actually ordered more teas i ordered chamomile jasmine and green tea I know green tea has a lot of benefit, especially with hair loss. I already have black tea. I'll try that. So I'll be trying them one at a time or two at a time, just so I'll know which ones are working and which ones are not. I don't want to like put in a lot at the same time. And then when I start having issues, I can't treat the issues. So we're going to do this from a scientific point of view. So before I even started doing hair teas, I used to use this product. It's um keratin and green tea restructurizer. I bought it and I loved I loved how it made my hair feel. Unfortunately, I, I didn't see much of a difference in reducing hair for for me. What is inside here? It has finished now. What's inside here is just plain water, which I used to spritz the ends of this my hair just to get it moisturized. I don't do much. This hair is really the really maintenance. The last time I touched the top was three days ago because of the hair thing. Normally, it's, uh, if I moisturize it, I just let it be that lasts for like a week to still be moisturized. So once I do the tips, I go in because I don't know. I've never left my hair with just hair to in before. So just to avoid if there will be any drying out, I go in with a moisturizer and then an oil. From my recent research on hair teas, because one thing about me is I'm going to research anything I'm using. I'm going to check all the information. I've even been reading books. I'll drop a link to the books I've been reading on um, just herbal remedies, essential oils, and everything I've been learning on trying to DIY hair care products and skin care products as well so i'll drop the link i've been reading books i've been checking out videos online even in blogs online one thing i've learned or uh, my conclusion about hair teas is that mostly i know the uh, they are touted as being these huge things that make your hair grow actually what they do is that they help to make the conditions on your scalp better most of them if you check what they do is mostly anti-inflammatory antimicrobial just stimulating hair growth most of them have this even though some of them actually also work on these strands but most of them most of them target your scalp just making the conditions conducive so that you can have healthy hair and as much as they do that, they also keep some of them help to keep your strands alive. I'll link some of I will write down some of the ones that I will be trying and as I try it one, I'll probably do a video review and just let you know how it's going for me. So if I love this one, I love the smell, I I would know if there's any result when I take down my hair. Then there's the case of coconut oil. Actually. When I was in school as a student, which was when I intentionally started taking care of my hair, like learning everything that is to take care of my hair, then I was natural. 
found coconut oil to be really nice on my hair unfortunately when i like something i go overboard with it which is what happened with coconut oil i used it a lot on my natural hair and it dried up my hair at the time i didn't know it was because of protein overload i didn't do proper research i just loved it and i continued to use it until my hair started being pretty and i i thought it was the fault of the coconut oil so i abandoned it i didn't know it was because of the way I was using it, which is why you should do proper research on anything that you're using, whether it's on your hair or your skin. You should do proper research on application, uses, storage, and what have you. So you don't end up abusing something that is good. I mean, too much of a good thing is also bad in, in and of itself. In life, I found that uh, moderation is always key. So yeah, that's it about hair, coconut oil. I Recently, since I started seeing all these videos and just being more intentional about things, I used it to do a people a hot oil treatment on my hair. My hair is test last now. I used it to do a people treatment before I installed this style, and I loved it so much. I was just asking myself, why did I stop using this product if it works wonders? I had forgotten at the time, but now I remember why I stopped using it and yeah i'll try to do more of the oils and people treatment actually why i started doing diy then as a student was because obviously i was broke i couldn't afford all these products that were supposed to be doing all these wonderful things uh, that people were doing reviews for but then when i i was able to afford the products i stopped doing the diys but now, after a while of using all these great products, don't get me wrong, they have been working, they are doing great, but I just want more for my hair at this point. I want more. I want to be more intentional in just about everything I'm doing. And by the way, I'm planning a skincare video where I do um, hair and body butter separately. I do separate for my kids and then for my husband and I. Just because the kids are going to add a lot of essential oils in theirs. Um, the video is coming up. I'll probably post it soon. If you've watched up to this part and you love my vibe, you love what I'm doing, please hit the like and follow button. I'm a new YouTuber and doing all of this just helps the algorithm to push my video to more people. So I can grow this channel and you continue to see more content like this on your timeline. So yeah, I've moisturized and sealed my hair. These are my ends. Looking, don't have to do much. I don't even comb it, just pops on its own. So I'm just going to leave it like this so it dries down a bit before I put it up so I don't get mold and it being itchy. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I also do, I also do castor oil. I got this one with rosemary essential oil because of all the wonderful things we've been hearing the rosemary has been doing for hair. So I've also started experimenting with castor oil, not just for my different part of my hair and my nip, which is where I got the most breakage due to postpartum hair loss. I've also been experimenting with only pure castor oil that I got from a local brand here in Ghana. I've been experimenting with it for the stretch marks on my belly that I got from childbirth. And then my heels too, which have been very dry, almost like sandpaper. I've seen some results in the heel part, but like for my hair, my belly and my hair, I just know that for my hair, it keeps it moisturized for a lot longer than my scalp actually. So, yeah, I'll give review because there are a lot of other things i've seen in videos that people are giving testimonies for castor oil if i get those results from the way i've been using them i'll likely drop a, a video review as well and i didn't even know what castor oil was made from that's what the seeds look like until i googled it i'll show you a picture i know this seed from when i was growing up we used to use it as just a plate thing it wasn't like something that was so important. But now looking at it, we have it in Nigeria. And I wonder why we don't make oils from it. The most popular castor oils I know 
that why I even got to know about castor oil is from natural hair care videos and it's mostly the Jamaican black castor oil and it's almost as if um, castor oil or castor seeds or the castor plant or tree whatever it's made from is purely Jamaican so I was quite surprised to find that we have something like this in Nigeria I don't need any Nigerian brands I'm producing castor oil on the continent for us the last thing I do for my hair, because I have very itchy, dry scalp, which is prone to dandruff, I use scalp oils. This one is the store bought one. This is the one I used before. Then I refilled what is inside here now is a DIY scalp oil. I have tea tree olive oil, um, mint, and lavender oil inside here. I'll tag a video of how i did this mix so i alternate between the two because this has different set of um, oils this has biotin rosemary and mint in it i love both of them but since they have different set of essential oils i alternate normally i oil my scalp maybe once a week when i'm not feeling any itchiness sometimes i do four every four days or every two days but like i don't do it too much it helps my hairstyles last so that i'll be doing the mint one i did the tea tree one last I just apply it to my scalp this has been very helpful because normally if i start using scalp oils especially the ones with tea tree oil my hairstyles don't, don't last more than two weeks even though like i can barely carry hair now but i can carry hairstyles up to five weeks because i start using scalp oils so been very helpful in helping me retain lens because one thing about lens or growing your hair to be healthy is is that it's not just about hair products it's also handling and the more you make hair lose it make hair and lose it you're, you are manipulating your hair which can lead to breakage so yeah, aside from hair and skin care some other areas where i've been very or becoming more intentional is in recycling which i've mentioned earlier in this video i've been actually composting food waste from our kitchen just to help with the plants that we're growing we're trying to grow a garden in vases or just recycle our water bottles we drink a lot of bottled water so trying to recycle these bottles instead of just throwing them out because unlike in nigeria and ghana here it is difficult to find um, the returnable bottled waters so we have a lot of bottled bottles from the bottled waters that nobody wants to take back. So I'm planning on buying soil and planting more um, veggies and herbs and whatever can go. Last year, we had tomatoes and pepper. Very nice and beautiful. And I was so happy. I shared it with my friends and everybody was like, well, we can grow this in the town. Yes, we can. We can grow things in the town. Right now, I have spinach growing in a vase. And it just go and pluck vegetable anything. Then we have um, aloe vera. We have aloe vera in a bus too. We have some peppers. They've not borne any fruits, but that is promised there. Just trying to. I'll buy more plants, especially um, herbs, especially rosemary. I want fresh rosemary and parsley. So I'll be doing more of that. So if you cut into this part of the video thank you for watching till the end and i hope this video inspires you to become more intentional with your life not just hair or body or food also in um, the things that you see what you watch your intellect and your finances you should become more intentional with them so that's it for this video um and i hope to see you in the next one thank you